Seeing your work in a frame on a wall is probably something most artists think about and want to do. As an artist coming out from the University of Arizona, I didn't necessarily have a lot of gallery experience. No, I wasn't sure on like, how many This is my first show, my first solo show. I love We're at Tiny Town Gallery oh, on Tool Avenue. When you hang a show, you get to think about how many pieces there are, where they go, what's the order of events, thinking about the flow of the room. So um, I find it really fruitful to work with the artists and understand what their, what their mission is and what they want to convey. The work started back in 2014. Um, I had done a research paper a little bit before that and included a um, portrait of Chuck Close. I thought I wanted to spice up the research paper a little bit, so I included my face and body painting with the, um, the research paper. And I really enjoyed the process, and after I did it, I just really liked the way I felt. Later on, I was going through a hard time and decided that I wanted to include a series of work that would start off replicating iconic artists. I'll paint myself, and if there's a background that needs to be painted, I will uh, use canvas and I'll paint that. When I'm painting myself, I'll do a photo shoot, and then from there, combine the two through Photoshop. Here, I have a bunch of props and I ended up painting over all of these, all of the clothing. And then I also painted my face. Funny thing is, is that this is actually all my real hair. I tend to do that with a lot of the photos. Like I'll cut my hair specifically so that it's for the photo itself. Cause it's just hair, it grows back. I would research every month, then replicate them and then do post-production and then post it on a blog that I kept. Starting from my first piece, I have Chuck Close, Salvador Dali, Andy Warhol, Frida Kahlo, Van Gogh, Vincent Van Gogh. The Jean-Michel Basquiat piece is probably one of my favorites. I ended up body painting myself, which is quite difficult. Andy Warhol, it's a lot of fun. I liked the idea of being a woman dressing as a man dressing as a woman. I graduated from the University of Arizona with a visual communication studio art degree with an emphasis in illustration. Being in school where there are assignments and you have a built-in community, you have supplies, you have people that respond to your work. So all of that is hopefully <laughs> part of your education. And then to after that be out in the world without that support system. With school, it's easy because you have something there that's keeping you focused but this was a side project while I was going to school. And so that alone was something that I wanted to prove to myself. I was thinking, was, was it a fun photo shoot? But then it also became a lot more than that. They're fun. They're fun to look at and they're interesting. You're questioning how I did it and like what goes into it. And I think that um, being able to bring even such a small show um, out in Tucson, it's, it's a, I feel like it's a little different than what you normally see. Galleries like this are very important to Tucson. I see, I feel like they should be lower than the work because... It's important to have a diverse scene within your city. And I think what that does is, is it expands the boundaries for everybody. The idea is to show good art and give people the opportunity to experiment. Especially with emerging artists, you have to put in a lot of work to make it happen. I don't see myself ever retiring. I feel like the thought of that just seems kind of ridiculous for an artist because I feel like I will always be creating and making things and putting work out there.